Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Sweetwater, Florida, where Joey, Surreal Camera, a.k.a. Uh, Tramp Stamp Joey, attempts to get the name and badge number of an officer, but is ignored. And, well, gets completely butthurt about it. And I'm sure he wants to file some complaints and everything like that. And, well... If you're that butthurt, Joey, why don't you just go home, cry in your little pillow about the whole thing, and grow up. And while you're trying to grow up, we can all sit back, relax, and laugh at your stupidity. We got the Harley Davidson right here. Hanging out, just recording you guys. That's, good, my brother. That's it, right? Yo, you don't get hot with that long sleeve? Yes, sir. That shit sucks. I know. I can't imagine. What are you looking at? You got a stand problem? Now I'm good. I know. Is that good? Is that good? What's your name and badge number, man? Man, oh man, look at those gold teeth you got in your mouth. And yes, Joey, I did say teeth. What you gonna do about it? Kind of makes me wonder about your oral hygiene. Whether those things can come out and you can brush your teeth, or are they cemented in? Because if they're cemented in there and you can't brush your teeth, oh man, all the bacteria and everything that I'll build up in between your teeth and those things, oh, it'll cause your teeth to rot and your mouth will begin to smell really bad. And if you want a good story on something like that, just watch the After Prison show with Joe Guerrero. He tells a story about a dude he had a tattoo in prison whose uh, mouth was smelling like complete decay because of stuff like that. In fact, it's such a good story, I think I'll leave the link in the description box for you so you can go check it out. What's your name and badge number, Terminator? Idiot. Hello, my brother, how are you? What's up, bro? You good today? Checking out that garbage mural you got there. Gave it our best shot. Who did that? Shit is trash, bro. Make sure you drink water, right? It's hot out here. Ah, absolutely. I got a whole guy in, in the car. Back to blue, huh? You back to blue? Yes, sir. Yeah? Say it a little louder. Yes, sir. Say, I back to blue. <laughs> I back to blue. Sweetwater Police Department, guys, right over here. We got Terminator. Hey, what's your name and badge number? Hey, what's the name and badge number? Hey, what's your name and badge number? Hey, hey, Joey, how much them teeth cost you? Because it was uh, about a dollar too much. I mean, uh, just wait a few years and you'll see those uh, teeth falling out of your head due to the rot they cause. Are you deaf? You want to look at me hard? You can't even identify yourself. What's your name and badge number? Tough guy, you look like you're wanna intimidate the world. How can you be smooth like your homies? Of course not. Punk. What is so hard about asking, about giving me your name and badge number? I don't like your demeanor. Oh, poor little Joey getting all butt hurt because an officer won't respond to him. Oh, poor little guy. Do you want to go home and cry to your mama about it? Yeah, she might give you a shoulder to cry on. What's your name and badge number, bro? What's your name and badge number, tough guy? You don't want to identify? Are you embarrassed and ashamed of your name? I 
You can't tell me. I'm running a sidewalk right here. What's your name and badge number, bro? Identify. Follow your policies. Hmm. Citation needed for that policy because, well, if you can't uh, show it, then you don't know it. So go ahead and show it so that you know it. Look at him. Look at the way he walks. That's Robocop. Your department arrested my homeboy Raggle Monkey for recording in a public easement. You guys are not getting no respect as soon as I fucking see any type of any type of demeanor that you think that you can intimidate people and men with cameras, at least not me. It ain't gonna happen. Dude, it's never really for filming. In fact, I can recall one arrest that Raggle Monkey was involved in where he didn't want to back up because, well, the police officer was dealing with a situation that involved a firearm that was at a traffic stop and well raggle monkey just did not want to cooperate with the officer so he ended up getting arrested names and badge numbers both of you, you doing, what's your name and badge number how you doing what's your, how you doing, how you doing? Zero, what's your name and badge number no him what's your name and badge number oh you're you're one of those yeah of course you gotta have one of those in your department a few of them a lot of them yeah, you too. Have a good day, bro. See, this guy's cool. You identified. Why you're ashamed of your name and you don't want to follow policies? Just give me your name. I'll keep walking. No? It's like that. I'll get your card number and I'll go file a complaint right now. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, wow. How intimidating that you're going to file a complaint about an officer not identifying. Oh, that'll hurt the rest of his career. 2533 for not identifying. This is the department that, that arrested Raggle Monkey. And I don't like them at all. How you doing, sir? How are you? Good. I am over here just all fingering out. Why is it taking so long to get my body cam footages that I requested three weeks ago? The ladies upstairs told me that it was going to be in my email in a few days. I just, this is what I came for and I just need your name real quick. Hi, my name is Jeff. Wow, for the body cam, you can ask in there. Jeff, how are you doing? My name is Joey. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Okay. All right. So, body cam footage is over there. You can ask in there? It's not upstairs? You sure about that? Um... Cause I'm gonna go up there. It's, it's public property, and I'm allowed to. And I've been there here before. I would ask him here first. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thank you, man. Five minutes later. What's up? Hey, hey, liar! Check it out, cause you're a liar. Number. I just want to ask a question because Jeff sent me over here. I came to request body cam footages last uh, three weeks ago, almost. If I should say, if I'm correct. Upstairs, they told me it was gonna take a few days. I just want to know why they're sleeping on that. I haven't gotten an email. He, Jeff, just told me to come over here and ask you guys. Yeah, Jeff, you know Jeff, the one that works right there. Uh, about that body cam footage? Yeah, the body cam footage. Is that when I requested three weeks ago, they told me it was going to be like a few days. Let me see if I can get some info, because I don't. that's not my department, but let me go see. Yeah, but, yeah, but uh, if not, I should go ask the ladies upstairs, because those are the ones that I uh, put the request of forms yeah, to. that's where you request, like, physically? What's your name again? David. David, David. Why'd you lie to me last time? Oh, Joey, no people skills whatsoever. Calling somebody a liar right off the bat when they probably had nothing to do with the situation you're inquiring about. Oh, Joey, just such a pitiful way to treat people. That's not going to get you anywhere in life, which is probably why you haven't gone anywhere in life. I mean, you're 48 years old and you act like this. I mean, you are just a giant man-child still after 48 years on this planet. Pathetic. Right, we're going to go outside and have a cigarette break. I'm just waiting for a sergeant or somebody's Nancy, okay? I'm okay. just going to be right here in the sidewalk. No I'm going to have a smoke. Thank you very much. All right. Well, now, Joey walks out of the building and he sees something that he doesn't like, which I will cover on the next video because it is freaking hilarious. So tune in tomorrow for that one. And, well, you'll get a good laugh out of it. So until next time, I will hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.